Hello guys, this is Rose and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the second uh, MD or a mnemonic device, which is how to prepare PO and BO. So we've done all the requirements in how to set up the SOHA accounting software. So now let's be prepared on how to create PO and BO. But before that, we must know if um, what type of business we are in. Like if you are under retail or you are under procurement. In today's video, I'll specifically um, discuss how to create PO under retail business. So at first, we must know that what are the documents required before you proceed on generating the purchase order. So you must um, request your purchasing department must request a quotation to a, a specific supplier. Then once approved by the management as an official quotation, then proceed on asking the performer invoice, which will be your uh, final uh, document to be the basis in generating the purchase order. Once all are paid and you have all the complete shipping um, documents like commercial invoice, airway bill or a bill of lading or bill of entry, then the accountant or if you are doing the, the updating of SOHO accounting software then proceed on receiving the inventory using bill module so let's proceed on generating purchase order open your SOHO go to purchases module select purchase order click new then let's add one vendor or supplier so the, the vendor for this illustration is Sassy Trading. Then the terms and conditions or payment terms must be as per your uh, agreed cost quotation or performing invoice. Save. Billing address represents the official business address of the company. Or um, sometimes they're giving specific instructions on the pro forma invoice that you receive. So just follow that instructions when you create a PO. So if you have contact person, better add the contact name and not just only the complete business address the next is the delivery location so for example warehouse you can put warehouse and at the same time for billing information if you have contact a specific contact person you know someone in there then just add the um, name of that person you can also select customer uh, for the delivery location for example you're uh, gonna di directly deliver the items to a specific customer so you can also select uh, so as an option for that then let's go on amending the PO so for example in this illustration I added uh, XYZ because the name of the company is XYZ then save for the reference if your company has internal control so for for uh, retracting easy re, easily retracting the documents you can you can do that but in this illustration uh, i just added the performer invoice number of the supplier then add uh, the agreed uh, delivery date payment method then for this illustration let's say i'm gonna buy disposable mass so if the item it's not yet available in items module then you must add new item make sure you select the type goods then in unit of measure is box if you have the selling price then input now the selling price and the unit cost but if you don't have just put zero for sales information and purchase and please don't forget to check the truck inventory because this represents the inventory asset then save so if you notice inventory asset is part of the purchase order 
later on this um, once you convert this PO to bill then it will be recorded as inventory asset under balance sheet the financial report so in case there are extra charges like delivery charge then you can add one line then make sure you've selected the correct accounts so in this case you can select freight cost or you can add account shipping fee it's up to you guys I'm sorry uh, because this is just an illustration I did not um, insert any terms and condition but below if you see the the box you can insert any terms and conditions as per your requirement so this is how our purchase order looks like so we have complete information the suppliers information shipping information we have the references we have the payment a payment method the payment terms what are the items ordered and you can convert that to PDF uh, to, for you to send it through email. So, so once your warehouse had confirmed that you received the items, you must convert your purchase order to bill. Because purchase order is not connected to the report, only the bill. So if you have not generated any one transaction, then it will not reflect on our financial report. So make sure you converted the purchase order to bill once your uh, warehouse man confirmed that they received the order. So the changes for the bill, it's just referencing the date when exactly you received the item and that's it. And But make sure that the accounts, you have um, selected the correct accounts. So for goods, make sure that you have uh, selected inventory asset and for any services, it depends on you either you will select shipping costs or bank charge costs because there are uh, additional charges is all, all the time there must be additional charges that will be charged to you by your supplier but it, it depends on your agreed sales quotation so once you converted the po it will show close and build then we can also check the information using items module so search the specific product same as open or click then go to transactions so you can retract how many POs were prepared under this item and you can also view if it was already converted to bill and then once you click that reference then it will direct you to the original document so that's it for that's it for today <laughs> See you on my next video. It's a, still about PO and bill, but um, about procurement because procurement um, has a different uh, document sequence if we compare to retail.